Thank you for attending the SEO Boot Camp series brought to you by Moz. This module boot will be an overview of Class 2, the Keyword Research Boot Camp. This is part of the Moz methodology, so this course falls into the research category. Talking about research, understanding the competitive landscape that you're operating in, um, usually based upon the research and analysis that you're doing there, you then proceed to doing a site audit and then go on to optimize your site, develop inbound links and trust signals, and then go on to iterate, report, and try to figure out whether or not what you've done is having the desired effect. So what we'll do in this module is briefly go over a tool that we'll be using called Keyword Explorer. Show you where to find Keyword Explorer, some of the main features of Keyword Explorer, and then that will be covered in significant depth when we actually go through the remainder of the course. We just thought it would be helpful to, inter uh, to review that right now. So what I'll do is I'll jump over to the Moz interface and show you where Keyword Explorer is and just walk through the main portions of that interface. So now I'm on the Keyword Explorer uh, interface here. I can find Keyword Explorer by going up to Moz Pro and using the drop down and finding Keyword Explorer here. I select uh, this item, it will take me to this page. This page basically consists of two main parts. There's obviously the search window that's at the top of the page, and then these down below are called lists. And we'll talk about the development of lists, the importance of using lists, and really how to use those as part of your SEO strategy. As you can see here, um, you can see all the lists if you wanted to here, and you can then sort and uh, change the way that those look. But namely, uh, what we see in lists in this view are total number of keywords in each list, volume, etc., a number of different features. In the top of the page, by the search window, you can see a couple different things. One, there's a drop down here that allows you to search by either keyword or if you have a root domain, so for example, moz.com. Or a subdomain, if it existed, you could have you know news.moz.com, that'd be a subdomain, or an exact page. So we could put in a specific blog article if we wanted to and search for keywords uh, where that blog article ranks. Or we could just search for, as it shows here, for a specific keyword and get uh, relevant information. We can then select which country we want to look at, country and, uh, and language combination, and select the uh, search window. So let me just put something in here like, uh, let's see, you know, something that everybody obviously searched for, cat memes. So I'll click on the search window, and all I'm doing here is just showing you what this interface looks like. We'll go into what each one of these uh, different metrics mean. However, once we search for a specific keyword, you can see that the keyword overview page comes up. We have the overview section at the top here, keyword suggestions, where we can come up with additional ideas for keywords based on what we've placed in here. SERP analysis, so search engine result page analysis, where we can see uh, what uh, what URLs are showing up in the top rank positions, page authority, domain authority uh, as well. And you can see that you can go to uh, deeper dive on SERP analysis or more suggestions over here. You can also get to those up at the, uh, at the top here, so keyword suggestions, that's the same as this link, and SERP analysis is the same as C full analysis over here. We see mentions, so this pulls from Fresh Web Explorer, and if we wanted to go investigate further in Fresh Web Explorer, we would go down here and select this item. If we click on keyword lists, that'll take us back to that initial page. It shows us all the different lists that we've made, and again, we'll cover what lists are. So let's actually look at a uh, uh, the different view here. So this is the keyword view, so it's a keyword overview. Okay, Let's look at a different view here. So if I put in a URL, and how about we put in a URL that has a folder in it, right? So I'll look at that, and I'll just say, um, let's look at this exact page. Okay, so I want to see the exact page. So now I'm putting in a URL rather than a keyword. And I'll select uh, search here. Oh, looks like here. Let's just find the exact URL. Always an easy fix that. Now what we see is we see a site overview page rather than a keyword overview page. 
you can notice that there's much uh, significant difference here in how this looks. Here we can compare to other domains if we wanted to with these different fields to use a compare sites. This shows me for the Maz.com blog how many ranking keywords there are, how many are within the top three results, how many are within the four through ten page authority for this page, domain authority for this domain, top ranking keywords, as well as a distribution of how many keywords we're ranking for in the top three positions, fourth through tenth, eleventh through twentieth, etc. Um, and if we wanted to see all ranking keywords, we could go over here and see all the different keywords that this particular page ranks for. Okay, this see all ranking keywords is the same as this ranking keywords item over here. And again, if we select keyword lists, that'll take us back to those lists that we can develop um, as part of our strategy. So that's a quick overview of just looking at the interface of Keyword Explorer. We'll go into each one of those different features in much greater depth um, as we go along with the keyword research process. Of course, if you ever want to reach out and be part of the conversation, feel free to do so at hashtag Mazacademy. Thank you.